recently, we decided to explore the edge of the drop-off on Bonaire's southern coast wall. The wind was largely gone and an eerie stillness washed over the reef. Without the waves, even the colors seemed to change. The sea fans barely moved. Trumpetfish seemed quietly suspended in the water column. With barely a ripple on the surface, the lighting flickered less, making even the Elkhorn seem frozen in time. The stillness was so loud, everything seemed to slow down. Through this beautiful school of brown chromis that dances in the water column, we see that blue hue that marks the edge of the drop off. This French angelfish keeps a wary eye on me and seems to wonder why I find him so interesting. This beautiful coral sits on the edge of the drop off. This beautiful sea rod is perfectly poised on the edge to catch food from the current. Star corals and sea rods are abundant on the edge of this drop off. Going over the wall, this hawksbill turtle paid little interest to us. But farther down the wall, a manta ray. This manta effortlessly glided along the wall. No matter how hard I tried, I could not catch up. The feeling I have every time I dive this Bonaire reef is indescribable. A lighter touch by humans has created a place of refuge for some amazing marine creatures. A look up and we find a second hawksbill turtle. Going down the wall we see a school of tarpon. This large black grouper decided to play hide-and-go-seek. Let's try to sneak up for a closer look. We've been spotted. The black grouper is a solitary fish. It is also protogenous hermaphrodite, meaning it can change from female to male as they grow larger. We decided to take a look in the shallows to check on the Elkhorn we saw in a previous episode. The Elkhorn still looked very healthy. In the distance we see the beast. Closer inspection shows whitening on the edges. This is not bleaching but rather indicates new coral growth. A swim back to the wall greeted us with more beautiful fish. At the wall we see a large school of sergeant majors. We discovered this blue parrotfish on the edge of the wall and decided to follow it. This large male came out to block our path and displayed its impressive beak, apparently to ward us off. Approaching the Red Slave dive site, we see Southern Senate. These are in the Barracuda family and can be found in the Western Atlantic from Bermuda, Florida, the Bahamas, 
and south to Uruguay, and apparently Bonaire. Above, we see the Red Slave dive site mooring. We found this beautiful southern ray on the sand. When they take off, they are poetry in motion. Don't miss the rosy razorfish. They are beautiful. The smooth trunk fish expels jets of water to reveal shallow invertebrates for food. We have reached the Red Slave Obelisk. When you're diving Red Slave, always get out here instead of the slave huts themselves. The ways are blocked by the corner and the exit is a breeze. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit the subscribe button to see more on this channel.